Good day, Great Twelves, and here we go. The pet for 2024. This is the one from the DBE. Um, so welcome as we take our first look at the pet for 2024. And I've just got these. Um, please, it is in the shared folder uh, in the link in the description. So this is the learner guidelines and the teacher guidelines. I'll be looking uh, at the topic specifically in another video. So here we're just taking first look through everything uh, let's have a look okay so as per normal you know just defining what the pet is looking at the mark allocation oh here's a change here's a change okay so we know that the pet counts 25 percent of our final grade 12 mark that hasn't changed but i can see over here that this mark allocation has changed um, i'll just have to check it from last year but i remember it being like 180 so um, maybe that's the norm now that they've brought it down to 150. Okay, then we've got our topic. And again, like I said, I'll go into some more detail on this. I see they're busy with environmental sustainability. And they just give you all the info regarding that. Okay, this is nice. There, they're giving us some more info on the topic. They spell out exactly what our task is. So please do read through this because they are telling you exactly what they expect from you. Um, going in further, yeah, this is this is the norm that they do. They usually give you links um, just to give you, you know, links to more info just to help you with your research. And please, no copying and pasting. <laughs> okay, so we've still got three phases. Phase one, two, and three, this is more or less what I'm used to seeing each year. Um, please familiarize yourself with that as to what is required. Then they just mention what you are going to need. And this is always an important one, HTML editor. So you can use Notepad, Notepad++, and then you just need a, a decent web browser. Right. Um, just mention some preparation items. I just want to make sure on all the... The documents. So as per normal, they give you all the instructions for phase one, um, what you need to do. There you can see your folder structure, creating a report. Again, I'm going to go in more detail in another video. We're just having a look at this now. Um, focus question. So nothing's really changed over there. Um, yeah, they're just giving us all of that, identifying the sources. That is as per normal. And they always give us these nice pictures as to what they wanted or what they would like it to end up looking like. Okay, so we've got all of that. That's phase one. Let's just go through this phase one. And then at the end of phase one, yes, the handing checklist. Okay, then we've got phase two, everything that's needed for phase two. That's as per normal. And then at the end of phase two, the handing checklist as well. Okay, so that's fine. Then phase three, Let's see, okay, our website, and then the handing for phase three. So phase three is usually just your report and your website. Nothing much has changed. Um, also, you need to hand in a completed final declaration. So let's just run through these extra documents. Now, this is the one that I advise you to really spend some time with. This is your rubric as to how things are going to be marked. So if you are doing your pet and you use the rubric, you can see exactly where you're going to be getting the mark. So we have the assessment tool with that. I'm just going to go down to the end. And, ah, okay. So right at the bottom, you can see this is the summary of everything. And then we have appendixes as well. So appendix B is your style guide. So telling you um, what you should have in your cover page, your headings, your analysis and discussion, paragraph formatting, page layout, all of that. This is the one that you need to fill out um, with your submission. So please get that done. Um, you can print it out. Some schools choose to go the route of just doing it electronically. It doesn't really matter. Either way, depends what the department wants. Um, but that's Appendix C, your learner declaration of authenticity so yeah and then appendix d is just there to help you with the sample questions and sources table just giving you a layout of what it should look like 
Okay, so really, folks, that is it for our first look. Everything um, in terms of the pet looks more or less the same. I was just looking at that mark allocation, but everything else that they've given you um, is basically the, the same structure and format as we've had in previous years.